Hey everyone, it's Luna, and today I wanted to show you some amazing stuff about crystals, particularly scientific evidence that shows crystals have real power. This is something I don't hear a lot of people talking about. A lot of people talk about crystals as if you have to have faith or something that they're real. And I'm here to show you that that probably isn't the case, and crystals do have a real energy. So, let's get into it. Crystals have long been revered for their healing powers and energy-enhancing capabilities, with many people believing they have the ability to channel energy, creating harmony in both bodies and environments. Although not fully accepted by scientists, some studies and theories point toward crystal energy having some scientific basis behind its usage. Crystal energy is founded upon the belief that all matter vibrates at its own frequency, including our bodies and environment. Crystals possess unique vibrational frequencies, which may help balance or enhance our own energy fields. This theory is grounded in the scientific concept of resonance, in which two objects vibrating at identical frequencies produce resonance effects. With crystals specifically, their unique vibrational frequency resonates with our body's energy fields to bring harmony and balance to both environments. Crystal energy proponents believe that certain crystals possess special healing and balancing properties. That can be harnessed for healing and balance purposes. Amethyst, for example, has been recognized for its soothing effects on mind and body, while rose quartz is believed to help foster love and emotional well-being. These properties may be determined by its color, shape, composition, or vibrational frequency of each particular stone. While science has yet to fully embrace crystal energy, science and theories indicate there may be some scientific basis for crystal beliefs. One theory suggests crystals have piezoelectric properties, which generate an electric charge when subjugated to pressure or vibration. Examples such as quartz have demonstrated this property by creating small electrical charges when squeezed or struck, providing insight into their interaction with our energy fields and surroundings. Though further investigation will likely be required before fully comprehending this phenomenon. One theory suggests that crystals may have the power to alter our body's energy flow, drawing upon the concept of human energy fields encasing and permeating our physical bodies. Proponents of crystal energy believe certain crystals can interact with this field by either absorbing or emitting energy. Some studies even indicate they could absorb electromagnetic radiation from electronic devices which could have major ramifications for health. One reason people are drawn to crystals is their aesthetic appeal. Crystals come in various shapes and colors and sizes, which makes them visually striking and captivating. Many also believe that crystals contain energy, which may bring physical, mental, or emotional benefits. Crystals form slowly over millions of years on Earth. Most crystals form from mineral-rich solutions, seeping into cracks and crevices of rocks, as this solution evaporates, minerals begin to form and eventually grow into crystals, forming an intricate crystalline structure. Others are formed in gas cavities within volcanic rocks, while still others from slowly cooling magma. Each type of crystal requires different conditions for its creation. Crystal energy may be similar to earthing or grounding, if you've ever heard of that. Earthing refers to connecting with the Earth's energy by walking barefoot on it lying on it, or sitting with skin contact with the ground. Practices which allow individuals to absorb its vitality for physical, mental, and emotional spiritual benefits. Crystals are thought to store and transmit energy that interacts with our own energetic fields and can serve as sources for relaxation or stress relief, with amethyst being particularly associated with this function. On the other hand, rose quartz may aid with emotional health by encouraging love and providing emotional healing benefits. Crystals, including quartz, are widely utilized in modern technology due to their unique physical and electrical properties that make them suitable for a range of electronic applications. One prominent use for crystals is in watches, where they serve as oscillators to keep accurate timekeeping. A small piece of quartz crystal acts as an oscillator in these watches by vibrating at a particular frequency when an electric current passes through it. This frequency then controls the timekeeping mechanism, resulting in highly precise timekeeping. 
Crystals can also be found in other electronic devices including smartphones, computers, and televisions. Liquid crystal displays, or LCDs, which are commonly found in flat screen televisions and computer monitors, utilize liquid crystals to control light flow and produce an image on screen. An electric current passes between two layers of glass that sandwich a layer of liquid crystals between them to control orientation and light flow through them. Piezoelectric crystal microphones are another type of crystal-based electronic device, commonly found in cell phones, laptops, and voice assistants. A piezoelectric crystal microphone works by converting mechanical vibrations into electrical signals using a small crystal that vibrates in response to sound waves. This creates an electrical signal which can then be amplified and transmitted further along its path before arriving at its target device for recording or playback. Crystals have multiple applications outside the realm of electronic devices, from healthcare imaging equipment like ultrasound machines to construction materials like concrete and asphalt that utilize them to improve strength and durability. Furthermore, crystals can even be found used as jewelry making materials. Color psychology is the study of how colors influence human behavior and mood, particularly their impact on human emotions and responses. Each color may have various psychological impacts, often applied to using crystals in healing and spiritual practices such as chakra cleansing or energy work. Many adherents of crystal energy believe that its hue can impact its energy as well as how it interacts with our own energy fields. Red crystals, such as jasper or garnet, are said to be stimulating and energizing, associated with the root chakra at the base of the spine where the physical energy and vitality is centrally located. Grounding or increasing stamina and vitality is often achieved using red crystals. Orange crystals, such as carnelian or sunstone, are associated with the sacral chakra, located at the lower abdomen and thought to be at the core of our emotional energy. Orange crystals may promote creativity, joy, and enthusiasm, three qualities integral to, to well-being. Yellow crystals such as citrine or yellow jasper are believed to be associated with the solar plexus chakra in our upper abdomen, believed to be at the core of personal power and will. Yellow crystals may help enhance confidence, optimism, and sense of purpose among users. Emerald or aventurine green crystals have long been associated with the heart chakra, which sits at the center of our chest and serves as the conduit of love and compassion as they promote balance, harmony, and emotional healing. Blue crystals such as lapis lazuli or aquamarine are believed to promote communication, self-expression, clarity, truth, and self-awareness in people. These crystals may help balance our throat chakra. Purple crystals such as amethyst or sugalite are often linked with the crown chakra at the top of one's head, which is thought to be responsible for spiritual connection and enlightenment. Purple crystals may help promote spiritual growth, intuition, and clarity of thought. Additionally, each color is believed to have unique psychological effects. Blue may evoke feelings of calmness and relaxation, while red may arouse energy and excitement. Green can represent nature and balance, while yellow stands for joy and happiness. These associations explain why certain crystals may be used for specific uses, such as relaxing muscles or increasing creativity. Many have reported positive experiences when using crystals for mood enhancement or emotional healing. Even if you don't believe in crystal energy's potential healing properties, its beauty remains undeniable and inspires wonder among many across the globe. Are crystals an effective way to reduce stress? Believe it or not, there have been studies which suggest they might. The inaugural study was a randomized placebo-controlled trial to assess the impact of holding a quartz crystal on stress levels among 80 healthy volunteers. They were randomly divided into one of four groups, real crystal, fake crystal, and no crystal, and control, which didn't participate. Within each of these four categories, participants held either an actual quartz crystal or fake made from glass for 10 minutes, while those in the no crystal group simply rested for that amount of time. While participants in either crystal group held either real quartz crystal or fake glass ones, researchers utilized several measures to assess stress levels before and after intervention, including self-report measures of stress, heart rate, variability, and skin conductance. Surprisingly, results revealed that both real 
and fake crystal groups reported reduced stress levels after holding one relative to holding none or being part of the control group. There were no significant differences between real and fake crystal groups, suggesting the perceived benefits may have at least some connection with placebo effects. While scientific consensus on the efficacy of crystal energy remains in debate, people still rely on crystals for meditation, stress relief, pain management, and spiritual development. Many report positive experiences using crystal energy and believe that it has helped in various ways, whether or not you believe in its power, there can be no disputing over their beauty and charm that has long captivated human imaginations. And with that, thank you so much for watching. And I find this information fascinating that there can be actual studies that show what crystals can do and that crystals are used in actual electronics. They have a real energy and that they do interact with the electromagnetic fields that surround our bodies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope to make more videos on crystals at some point because they're very interesting. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Bye.